I don't know what these little black specks are. Maybe rat. Oh no, I know what that is. That's insect larvae. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That is so... Oh, dude. I can't wait. Dude. The... <laughs> January the 8th, 2003. We went up on the strip job. Played some paintball. I have the whole paintball match. Oh man. How many times do I shoot you, Jared? Huh? How many times do I get you? Not twice. Twice? Here and here. That's definitely one I want to recover. Because that was so fun. <laughs> before before first person shooters in the internet, we just went up to the woods and shot ourselves. They, they were babied. Like, this is technology. Anybody that lives back in the day, don't touch the lens. Don't die. You know, this. <laughs> This was technology back in the day. Like nowadays, people throw their phones and computers around and everything. This was sacred. You don't understand. If you had one of these or you knew somebody that had one of these, it was something special. Because these little fuckers were expensive. Um, they were not only expensive, but, but rare. They were... Like every... Okay, not... Here's the thing, everybody had a camera, right? But it was, oh no, that's, that's only for vacations and family movies. You know, a lot of people didn't get them out and goof around with them like me and my friends did. Well, there was a few exceptions, few exceptions. You know, you can go online and look up stuff and you can find, you know, cases where people did but I'm, I'm glad there were a few kids like myself and my friends that got their hands on this and goofed out with them to preserve the culture of the early 2000s and, and 90s and 2000s you might as well say the late 1990s and early 2000s check this out October the 25th 2002 what was happening where were you he signed here yesterday was it I dropped off Jesse, and what, 10 minutes after I dropped off Jesse, I run into all the redneck drivers. Jesse's there. riding with you? I yeah. tell you, Richlands is a bad place to be. Wait a minute, Jesse, which one's that? Jesse, I don't know if you know him. It's not. a guy. It's my, it's my flat teacher. Oh. Hey, can we go visit Jesse? I don't know where he lives. I dropped him off to the city. He's just looking through his camera and going down the road. I have some friends with got better visibility than the car. Mm, it's uh, not, there's no depth perception. It's like watching a video game. I have a friend from Hayes, I would need to go see Chris. See, if you like hit that wall right there, I would think we should see a video game. Uh. Chris, can you see my friend from Hayes? We're going to be resurrecting some ghosts this Halloween. <laughs>
suspicious given everything else that's been going on. It's kind of susmongous. But uh, we'll not get into that. I just wanted to update it and uh, or give an update and show that in the background. But the reason I got this Sony Handycam is because if you're familiar with Sony, they were kind of proprietary with the Hi8 and uh, Digital 8 formats, the 8mm tapes. And you, you can't really get a converter for those that I know of. You can get them through uh, VHSC, which my JVC was on. But let's see what came in the package. Uh, got the cable. That's nice. This is a, 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 a fine looking bag in a case. I like the guy who shipped it. Uh, maybe if I uh, can remember his store, I'll put his description down in the links. But if this thing works, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try to do that. But I do uh, appreciate people taking, you know, and shipping the, the time and care to, uh... oh man, look at that, ain't she beautiful? I hope she works. 20 years old, man. 20 years old, a little bit different from mine. It seems like from the photos I've seen all of the, the fake leather on, leather on these Sonys starts to uh, fade off. I don't know if she's got a tape in her or not. Ooh, that's a that's a manual adjust there. Little bit different from my camera. Uh, actually, I think my camera, wow, geez. 700 digital zoom, 25 optical. That's pretty good. Look at this LCD. Now she does have some scruffs on her, but I'm hoping that's all cosmetic. Now this is how it was done, folks. Back in the day. Oh please, do you have a do you I wonder if this has a firewire board on it or some sort of USB prepare there's your DCN. I'm gonna have to get this thing uh a good and wow, wait. This looks like it's got some sort of memory card. Spooky. Um, <laughs> well, that'd be cool if it actually does use memory cards, and then I could just transfer that over real easy. Um, I'm going to have to get this thing a good looking over and familiarize myself with it. Uh, already pretty familiar with it. A lot of my old content was shot on something similar like this. Yeah. Remember, this is where your tape pops out, yep. Duh, obviously. But I don't know. I don't know, let's see. Are you curious what else is in the box? Well, before we do, let's let's just get a little look at this thing. The factory sticker is still on it. Oh, ain't she so nice? Something about technology from the early 2000s and I guess this is where I still don't see your your audio ports yet but I'll find them don't worry um, maybe they're down here oh, here's some ports yeah there's what I was looking for but that's the <laughs> this camera's got more ports on it than my phone uh, but that's the thing about technology back then there were so many different unstandardized oh that uses s video no wonder uh, oh 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 is this an s video I like how it's got velcro and oh please 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 okay that's weird check it out that uses okay that's that is that's what i'm talking about normally on a lot of cameras and stuff you just plug these in uh, male to male or male to female and uh, you know, this is some proprietary bullshit but I'm pretty sure it goes in right there the audio my camera this camera is not focusing on this camera but that says uh, to the naked eye that says audio video I don't know why that's not focusing but focus please focus Okay, well, that says audio video, trust me. <laughs> and it looks like we do have a, 
Oh, is that a is that an IEE or is that a, a one of those weird micro USBs? I don't know. Wow, this is quite a higher end model than mine. Let's see here. MPEG. MPEG. Oh, dude, it does have USB streaming. God damn, I hope this thing works. <laughs> That'll make it so. A camera like this, dude. The guy that shipped this to me, like I said, I will put his info in the description. Camera like this is perfect for what you need to do if you are shipping or converting old tapes. And I will give you guys the model number. Uh, that is a. You probably can't see it, but that is a D C R T R V three four zero N T S C. N T S C is just like uh, I don't remember if N T S C was American or PAL, but you get the idea. Let's see what else is in the packaging. Because again, this is a nice little case. There's your battery. Um, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Charger, cable, nice. Remote control, fancy. Put all this back in here. Doing this one-handed, probably, I don't know what these little black specks are. Maybe rat, oh no, I know what that is. That's insect larvae. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Well, this has been sitting in storage somewhere. That'll have to—I'll have to suck that out, vacuum that out. Mm. That is bug larva. Here's your charger. He did a good job. Did a good job uh, on supplying about everything you need. Sorry if I'm—I'm I'm getting you drunk with the camera. Again, doing this one-handed. The zippers do feel good and heavy and thick. Uh, this was probably back in the day a... Hold on, let me... I'm going to do an edit and a cut because I don't want to get you guys drunk. Nothing back there. Okay. That's all that came out. It was Buck County Incorporated 1958. So that's the whole shebang. The whole shebang. I look forward to fiddling with this and I dread it too um, if you know what I mean but yeah I need to clean up and uh, I need to clean the whatever that is in the there's like bug carcasses or eggs or something down in there see them the little white specks I thought they were rat turds at first but whatever they are I gotta get them out of there grossing me out um, but yeah 20 euro tech you know, before smartphones and selfies, there was VHS 99 coming out this year. Already out. You should go watch it. I like how the uh, specs are still on it. The stickers are still on it. But um, one thing that's concerning me a little bit is I don't see any owner's manual. Um, shouldn't be too big of an issue. But I'm going to definitely look up a PDA online. Anyway, this is going to take me all Halloween. <laughs> Probably up until November. But when I do get the stuff done, I will be uh, archiving it on the channel. Which is really what I want to do, the, the make the channel for. is for reviews and archiving of old stuff like this. Because when I move, I might one day do a uh, a um, vlog type channel. But for now, when I move, I'm not going to be able to take all this physical stuff with me. I'm not going to have the storage space. Um, so I'm going to have to put it all online and just hope for the best, right? Anyway, I hope this works. Oh, this is so crazy. If you made it to the end... You're going to get a little bit of a bonus. Um, there was a tape already in this. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to really, you know, show the people's faces and stuff for privacy reasons. 
but uh, this this piece of footage looks okay. Maybe this is test footage. I don't know. But the tape was marked Pebble Beach, two thousand and seven. So yeah, this is it. And I, I mean, it's working. As you can see, kind of fuzzy. My my camera won't focus. It's actually clear on the LCD. But there's a little Yoda, and they're just showing around the shop or showing around their building. Um, I'm wondering if this is test, whoop, uh oh, copyright, copyright, ah, ah, I'm wondering if that is like, uh, just test footage to make sure the camera works, uh, but it is working, at least the, the playback and stuff, um, I did get a memory card error. But I've never used these Sony memory cards before. I don't know. Interesting to see what's on these old tapes. It's always a mystery. It's like opening a treasure chest. Okay. Um, I guess the little bit of footage at the front of the camera. Uh, there we go. It's fuzzy, so I don't mind showing the guy. It won't focus in. You can't really see who this is. He's got his head down. Good swing. Good swing. He said he's far out. But Hank Cummings. This is Pebble Beach 2007. I might I don't know. I might try to identify these people and, and upload it maybe, you know, so they can get their memories back because it looks like a golf match at Pebble Beach. Is what this looks like. But again, maybe I shouldn't for all I know, these are all cartel members. <laughs> so, shit, maybe I'll just leave it private. Um, but it does just look like a bunch of guys out um, on the golf course. And that makes me think the, the person who owned this camera was high society. Very yuppie. Looking very yuppie. So it was probably well taken care of. That's good to know. I'm not a yuppie. I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm a hillbilly Appalachian nerd. I love my technology, though. Um, I'm more of a tinker gnome. So fucking cool, dude. Bringing back memories. Nice swing. Nice swing, boomer. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? God damn, you hit, <laughs> hit it into the stratosphere, old man. Jim Cummings out of McGee Street. Anyway. Number 17 at Pebble Beach. He'll be short. 17 at Pebble Beach. But it, the, the playback and everything seems alright. The stuff at the front seemed to be the seller. Uh, probably his warehouse or his inventory, like a small uh, mom and pop operation. Uh, I've been there, I've done that. Know how that goes. In fact, I'm going to start doing it out of that room back there. But uh, yeah, neat. Sorry for any background noise. Uh, my uncle is perpetually staying here. But y'all. Yeah. Pebble Beach, man, that is like a upper middle class yuppie residence type country club area, as you can see <laughs> from the Ferraris, right? Out in California, A. So that is a long ways from home for this camera. Now, maybe the people were over there on vacationing, or maybe this was its original location, but like I said, I used to work you know armed security private investigations uh do a little bit of investigative journalism now even on youtube and various social media so i like digging into this stuff i like seeing the history and past of things uh but that's kind of crazy that in 2007 this camera that is now in my possession was all the way on the west coast in pebble beach you know very high society area <laughs> And now it's one in, in one of the most economically depressed, repressed areas of the country, all the way across the country. It went from upper middle class, ritzy California to coal fields of Appalachia. So it's had quite a journey. Like I said, I've. Uh, it's weird because some of the names. You know, the people were talking in the video and stuff, and I haven't went through it completely, but some of the names, I think, uh, might have been, like, TV actors and actresses 
I, I do think I found some of the names of the people discussed on on this camera. It's I'd be interested in going through the f the footage a little in a little more detail and seeing what I could find. Like I said, I don't know if I will um, publish it though. But yeah, Pebble Beach, man. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> no wonder you know this was such a fancy camera back in the day. You know, it would have been a pr like I, I I had cameras, but I had cheap cameras, so I'm not surprised it came from a, a place like that, which is kind of good uh, because if it was you know a upper middle class yuppie kind of place, it probably got used once or twice and and put in a closet and was taken moderately good care of. Whereas if it was somebody like me that had it, I take care of my stuff, but it's out there in the field too. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I uh, I get something, I use it and abuse it. Well, I don't abuse it. I take care of my stuff. But yeah, this is Pebble Beach. I mean, like oh, we got Bugattis. Oh, look at that pinky finger up in the air. Because <laughs> we want to puke. <laughs> oh God. But still, that's a good thing because at least the camera was probably in its early phases of life taken care of, which most cameras are. I'll get into that later. Um, so it should do the task that I need it to do. Um, for all we know, it, it rode in a Ferrari. <laughs> but that's a long ways from home for this little camera. But it's found a good home with me. I'm pretty good with tech. I'm a techie. I'm a nerd... It went from yuppie to nerd. Oh, cruel fate. <laughs> Dude! The... <laughs> January the 8th, 2003. We went up on the strip job, played some paintball. I had the whole paintball match. Oh, man. How many times do I shoot you, Jared? Huh? How many times do I get you? I wonder what else is on here. That's from 2003. The, the fucked up thing, right? 20 years ago. 20 freaking years ago. The fucked up thing is I'm having a Mandela effect. Personal Mandela effect. Is... I always remember my camera being a cheap JVC, but I and I do have the JVC tapes, but some of them have transformed into Sony Hi8 tapes. <laughs> Maybe I had a JVC first, and around '99, '98. I bet I bet I know what happened. I bet I had like a JVC from '97 to 2000, and then everything went digital. And I was like, Ew, I gotta get a new digital camera. I bet that's what happened. Or maybe I was borrowing somebody else's or something. No, I've got the tapes up right. I, I, I vaguely remember these red strips on these like that. Let's see what else is going on in this tape. Okay, that's still the paintball match. That's definitely one I want to recover. Because that was so fun. <laughs> before... Before first-person shooters in the internet, we just went up to the woods and shot ourselves. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, if there's anything else exciting that I come across on this, this particular tape, I'll, uh, I'll jump back in. If not, uh, you'll have to stay tuned and just see what I can pull out of the archives. Because like I said, I'm putting it all, everything here, going up digitally. If I can get this to work, if I can get this to work, I'm um, cross your fingers, knock on wood. Um, I was looking at these particles falling off of this too, and I kept wondering, like, oh god, what are these particles coming off? But it, it's the the Sony cheap leather. I guess what happens is people's hands get sweaty or something, and it does something to the leather over years. That's just gonna keep flaking off for all eternity. But this camera, the thing about these cameras. Is they weren't they they were babied like this is technology anybody that lives back in the day don't touch the lens don't uh, you know this 
<laughs> this was technology back in the day. Like nowadays, people throw their phones and computers around and everything. This was sacred. You don't understand. If you had one of these or you knew somebody that had one of these, it was something special. Because these little fuckers were expensive. Um, they were not only expensive, but, but rare. They were, like every, okay, not, here's the thing, everybody had a camera, right? But it was, oh no, that's, that's only for vacations and family movies. You know, a lot of people didn't get them out and goof around with them like me and my friends did. <laughs> well, there was a few exceptions, few exceptions. You know, you can go online and look up stuff. And you can find, you know, cases where people did. But I'm, I'm glad there were a few kids like myself and my friends that got their hands on this and goofed out with them to preserve the culture of the early 2000s and, and 90s and 2000s. You might as well say the late 1990s and early 2000s. The millennium. And that's one of the reasons I did it because I knew the millennium, and I'm not a millennial, I'm a Generation X, grew up in the 80s. Carter was alive and president when I was born, okay? <laughs> Carter was going out and Ronald Reagan was coming in. You can say I'm a millennial if you want, but I don't even think millennials would agree with that. But the neat thing... Do you see, this way I can film you and you can see what I'm feeling so people don't panic as much. I want to see what I look like in the infrared thing because I've never seen myself. Oh myself. my goodness. That is so... Oh, dude. I can't wait. I I can't wait. No spoilers for now. We are literally just hanging out. <laughs> it's Donnie, Jared, Chris, myself. Literally just hanging out, goofing off. Oh, dude. I, I can't fucking wait. This is going to be resurrecting some ghosts. This is Halloween. Oh, man. Check this out. October the 25th, 2002. What was happening? Where were you? He signed here yesterday. Was that? I don't know. Bad things were happening. Yeah, let's go to Hayside. Like, I dropped off Jesse. And it wasn't 10 minutes after I dropped off Jesse, I run into all the redneck drivers. We're going to be resurrecting some ghosts this Halloween. <laughs> if you found this video useful or entertaining, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. You can also leave questions and comments down below. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.